and this is the step three and this I will be using for baking and I'm going to be preserving this with sugar because strawberry can also be preserved with sugar this part you can also use for your jam for eating bread so I like to use it for baking because of the sugar I don't like too much sugar I don't like sugar either I hardly use sugar so when I use sugar to preserve this, when I'm using it for baking, I do not add sugar anymore. So I just use that sugar I use for preservation to bake the cake or whatever. Or maybe when using it for jam. Because if you really want to get good result of strawberry jam, you use half, like 50-50, you know. You make like this 50 gram and you make your sugar 50 gram. That is the quantity of sugar you can have in jam. So you can just go ahead and chop it a little bit. And this is it. Hello family. Welcome back to the kitchen. If you are here for the first time, you are welcome. Monsin or Janet are here. In this channel, I talk about food, I talk about lifestyle, and I do a little bit of vlogging. In today's video, I will be talking about strawberry. And I will also be showing you Tori amazing way to preserve strawberry in a fridge and in a freezer that you can use for your smoothie, for your milkshake, for your cake, for your jam, and for so many other purposes. You know the problem with strawberry is they don't last in season. When you buy strawberry today and you don't use it the same day or the next day, the girl spoils. So for this reason, I have decided to show you these three amazing ways you can use to preserve your strawberry that will last you for a long time till they come back to season again. So if you are interested, let's get started. I have warm water here with salt. And I'm going to be putting the salt in the warm water You can use vinegar if you have vinegar. So I normally use salt in place of vinegar. And some people like using baking powder too. So I'm going to be putting the out there in the in the warm water. This is the out there. So I've not washed the air bell, so I'm just going to drop it in the warm water. And I'm going to be putting everything. And I will be removing the ones that are not too fresh when washing. But I'm not going to be putting this. This is bad already. I'm, I'm keeping this aside. I 
then I will be putting another pack And I will be leaving it in the water for like an hour. Or let's say 40 minutes to one hour. So. So I'm going to leave it here and I will be back. Please do subscribe to this channel if you've not done that. So guys, this is after an hour. And I want to be washing the strawberry. And I will be using this opportunity to separate the ones that are very fresh from the other ones. So I'm going to like share it into three parts. So I will be using some part for smoothie and the other part for like baking of cake and the ones that are very fresh for like just for like eating them that way. And we want to make sure we wash the strawberry very well. To remove the sand. And other unwanted particles. So I'm also using this opportunity to remove this thing. Okay. If you can get them very fresh and wash the same day you bought them that will go a long way to help you to preserve them very fresh unlike this one i bought this one yesterday i just kept it overnight in the fridge it's really difficult to like just keep strawberry like that without preserving them you might end up wasting them because it gets spread so easily and fast. So. And look at this. This is the sand. You can see this particle. Can you see this? This is what we have under the water, under the warm water. This is just like sand. So I'm going to rinse one more with ordinary water to remove the salt.
when you leave any vegetable or the I mean vegetables so that fruit in the salted water for like close to an hour all the dirt will automatically settle down same to vinegar Now let's see what we have here. So we have less particle. Now see this? This is not much. So I'm going to be using this paper towel to drill out the water from the strawberry so I'm just going to go ahead and lay them flat so I've already separated them into three parts the one without spots so I'm putting the one without any spots here and this is the second part this is the one that just have little spots i'm going to be separating them here you can see this So this, these are the ones I will be using for smoothing. Then I have the last part here. I have something like this. This I will be using for baking. Okay. So I'll just leave them for some time to dry up a little bit just for like 30 minutes. Then we'll be proceeding. So guys, this is after like 40 minutes and i will be putting the ones with our spots in this container so i'm going to start by putting paper towel so these are the ones with our spot look at how fresh they are there is nothing like fresh juicing sweet strawberry. The problem with strawberry is that they go out of season quick. So when you have the opportunity like this, you just grab them and make sure you preserve them to last you for the whole year. So I will be doing this from time to time, almost every weekend, till they go out of season. So I will have enough in my freezer to last me till they come back to season again. So, 
able to do it like this. And so I will put another one on top. This I can just keep in the freezer. It's not freezer, sorry. I will just keep this in the fridge. This one can eat the same day or the next day, just for like two days. So I'm going to be keeping this in the fridge. This is the step one. of preservation of strawberry look at this so i'm keeping it in the fridge like this so we'll go to the step two i will be putting the one that is not very the one that don't have much spots in this container This one I will be using for smoothie and strawberry milkshake. So I'm going to be putting the third part aside. This third part I will be using for baking of strawberry cake. So you can see this. So I will go ahead and put this baking paper here. Then I will be spreading this part here. You make sure you separate them, they don't touch each other. Okay, and I will be putting this in the freezer. So I'm going to put this in the freezer for like an hour, and I will be back. And this is the step three. And this I will be using for baking. And I'm going to be preserving this with sugar. Because strawberry can also be preserved with sugar. This part you can also use for your jam, for eating bread. So I like to use it for baking because of the sugar. I don't like too much sugar. I don't like sugar either. I hardly use sugar. So... When I use sugar to preserve this, when I'm using it for baking, 
I do not add sugar anymore. So I just use that sugar I use for preservation to bake the cake or whatever. Or maybe when using it for jam. Because if you really want to get good result of strawberry jam, you use half like 50 50 you know you make like this 50 gram and you make your sugar 50 gram that is the quantity of sugar you can have in jam so you can just go ahead and chop it a little bit And this is it and this is what I have in the freezer before and I will be using this for me shake and there we go I had to add one spoon of sugar large spoon of sugar no more I will just mix it together I suppose to use this bottle to store it I don't know if I can put this bottle in the freezer so we've been using this very well. I can only use this bottle when I'm putting it in the fridge. Maybe I'm using it in the next few days. But I don't know when I will be using this. Because I do store a lot in the freezer because I will be re repeating this process weekly till strawberry finally go out of season. So this is it. I'm going to put this away. So I will be cutting this part off it's, it's always easier for me to cut it off when I bring it out of the freezer because before putting it in the freezer the strawberry is all too soft to cut so I'm just removing this part before putting it in the ziplock bag You can swear do this before putting it in the freezer. But it's easier for me this way. So. And at times you can use straw to remove those parts. If you have a very strong straw you just put it here and bring it out here and you make sure the straw is like strong and you gauge the middle to remove this part and so and I'm going to be putting them in the ziplock bag I'm using this ziplock bag. Can you see this very well? 
Mm-hmm. And this is how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the bag. The essence of putting the strawberry in the freezer for an hour before putting it in this bag is to enable it to be like not gummy together so when you put it in the freezer like this they are going to be separated if you don't put it for an hour or so before putting it in this in this zip lock bag if you just go ahead and put it in the zip lock bag and you keep it in the freezer that way they will stick together and they will be blocked so they will not be separated and they will not be like soft enough for you to use when you want to use them for like your smoothie and your strawberry milkshake so that is the essence of putting it first in the freezer before putting it in the zip lock bag so i'm going to go ahead and put it in the freezer and i will make sure I flatten it in the freezer like this way so I will try to remove the oil first so I put it flat in the freezer this way so this video has come to an end And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to join this wonderful family if you've not and don't also forget to give me a big thumbs up if you learned something from this video and also share with your families and friends I would like to say thank you for watching I will see you in my next one bye